The Little Sister, A Little Golden Book. Liz did a perfect cartwheel on the white sand of the beach. Then she did another and another until she landed in the water. Her brother David dived in after her and splashed each other, shrieking and laughing. David and Liz were good friends. David helped his little sister put on her snorkel. Make sure the mask feels snug around your face, he said, and hold the snorkel in your mouth like this. I know, I know, mumbled Liz. This was their first vacation on a tropical island, but already they had learned a lot. David always swam close to Liz and sometimes held her hand. He pointed out a beautiful piece of coral and some bright blue fish. He pulled her away from a cave where they saw the big head of a spotted eel watching them. He warned her to steer clear of the black spiny sea urchin on the bottom. At night, the two children lay in their cool beds. Sometimes David told Liz a story. They made up stories together, but they usually were both so tired from the sun and the water that they fell asleep before the story was over. One day, some new kids came to the beach. They were a little older than David. David went up to them and said, Hi, I'm David. This is my sister, Liz. Hi, David, said the other kids. I'm Peter. I'm Sue. Can you swim? Sure, said David. Race you to the raft. All the children dashed into the water and started swimming. Liz soon got left behind. She was a good swimmer, but she couldn't keep up with the older kids. All of them were already on the raft when she reached it. Come on up, Slowpoke, said David, hauling her up. David had never called her Slowpoke before. I am not a Slowpoke, said Liz, and everyone laughed. Race you back, said Peter. Before Liz could catch her breath, they were in the water again, racing towards the shore. Liz was the last to arrive. Let's climb up the rock, said Sue, and off they ran. Wait for me, shouted Liz. Dave! But David was rushing ahead to catch up with Peter. You're too small for our games, said Sue. Don't be a pest. I am not a pest, said Liz. Am I, Dave? But nobody heard her. They were all too busy scrambling up the rocks. Liz did her best to follow, but the rocks were too big for her. Hey, Liz, said David on his way down. Maybe you should go home. We're going to see that big boat that belongs to Peter and Sue's dad. Go on home. I will not, said Liz. Oh, don't be a pest, Liz, said David, and off he went with the others. Liz was hurt to hear David call her a pest. She felt tears prickling in her eyes. Then she ran off the beach so no one would see her cry. But nobody looked back, not even David. Liz did a couple of cartwheels and felt better. She scuffed her toes in the sand and found a beautiful shell. She walked into the water. It felt so good, she lay down in it. Then she floated on her stomach a little way out. She put her face in the water and with her eyes open. Through the clear, shallow water, she could see some spiny sea urchins. They looked like little pincushions. Liz was careful not to touch them. She knew the spines would break off and stick in her skin and hurt a lot. But she loved to watch the strange creatures, their spines waving with the gentle movement of the water. Suddenly, Liz saw two tiny pink feet near the bed of sea urchins. She lifted her face out of the water. A baby was waiting nearby, reaching toward the sea urchins. Stop, Liz called. She back paddled until she was clear of the urchins, then she stood up. Don't step on those spines, shouted Liz. They can hurt you. Hi, 
said the baby with a big smile. You've got to stand still, she said to the baby. Don't move. The baby stretched out his hands to her. Carefully, Liz stepped in amongst the sea urchins, trying to watch her feet and the baby at the same time. Don't move, don't move, she kept saying. The baby just stared at her. As soon as she was close enough, Liz leaned forward and swept the baby up into her arms. The baby giggled and clutched at Liz's hair. Liz almost fell over. The baby was so heavy. Liz started to step carefully toward the beach. Then the baby wiggled and Liz almost lost her balance. She had to put her foot down in a hurry. Ow, ow, ouch! She screamed as she felt the prick of a sea urchin in her foot, but she did not let go of that baby until they reached the dry sand. Now the beach seemed to be full of people. My baby, my baby, screamed a woman, swoop, scooping up the child. Peter and Sue and David came running. Oh, my goodness, it's Nicholas, said Sue. We were supposed to keep an eye on him. Thanks, Liz, said Peter. You saved our baby brother from the sea urchins. That was really brave. It sure was, said Sue. David gave Sue a hug. Then he took her foot and looked at it carefully. We've got to get home, he said. I'll carry you piggyback. Does that make me a pest? asked Liz. David bent down so she could climb on his back. Yes, he said with a grin, but you're a pretty brave pest and sort of nice too. Liz gave a big happy smile. Okay, silly, she said. You can call me pest if you want. David hoisted her up and galloped off down the beach. You're a heavy pest. You're a wet pest. You're my sister pest. You're the best pest there is, he chanted. They laughed and laughed all the way home. The end.